What's up, my geeks and freaks? Big Girl Geek here with a brand new review. And we're back for my new favorite show, Superman and Lois, Season 1, Episode 3, The Perks of Not Being a Wallflower. So, was this episode geek or was it weak? Let's get into three, it. Three, two, one. one. We're back for my new favorite show. We're back for my new favorite show, Superman and Lois. I've always loved Superman. He's been like one of my favorite uh, DC characters, one of my favorite combo characters ever. Um, and I'm so happy as a show that I could talk about now. I didn't watch Krypton because I just don't trust sci-fi channel, but if you guys say Krypton is good, I'll go with it. And I reviewed Supergirl on this channel for um, maybe like two seasons and nobody uh, was really Feeling that I had a whole video on that so I was like okay I had to clear up my schedule when I went back to school so I watched Supergirl on my own even though I don't talk about it on this channel but because Supergirl is going to be the last this is going to be last season of Supergirl I'm going to bring it back I'm going to bring it back <laughs> um so it'll be fun to talk about Supergirl and Superman um on this channel because I really do love Superman um and speaking of which Superman will be going on a break I think next season next uh week will be on new I can't remember the day. I ha I can't remember the day when I saw it. He's gonna go on a very long extended break so they can do the Supergirl last season. I don't know why they don't want them on at the same time. Um, oh, I remember. Um, there was someone on the Superman set caught COVID, so they had to shut down for a while. So it's going to go on a, a long hiatus. Superman is, and then while it's on that hiatus, while they figure out that whole COVID situation and everybody can come back safe and whatever. You know, that whole thing that they have to figure out. Um, Supergirl will air its final season. So there'll be plenty of Superman, Supergirl content on the channel. And I'm happy, I'm so happy that I'm going to be bringing this back because I did miss talking about it, even though it really wasn't doing that great on the channel, really wasn't getting that much um, interaction from everyone. So I was like, all right, I just, I had some, I needed to free up some time. And I said, I have to get rid of some, some, some something on the show. And so, um, I did a poll on Twitter and I asked you guys which, um what what was okay to let go of the channel you guys voted for supergirl um so but i'm happy to be bringing it back i have to bring it back it's this last season i have to and superman's on and i'm just happy about that um speaking to dc comics of course snyder cut's coming out soon did you guys see the whole thing that it leaked when you went to go if you logged into hbo max some people wanted to watch the tom and jerry movie but it played the snyder cut that was crazy check that out um that story out, I thought that was hilarious. And I'm just excited. So much Superman content coming and I just love him so much. And this show is so great and it's my new favorite show. So it gives me chills and goosebumps talking about this with you guys. I'm totally geeking out, totally geek episode, of course. So much has happened in this episode. Um, I can't, I get the J's mixed up. Jonathan and Jordan, because the, the, the actor, that plays Jonathan, his real name in real life is Jordan. <laughs> so it's the J's, mess me all up it was just funny because my name starts with J but whatever so I, I hate the teenage angst and the CW-ness of it all but I love it at the same time because I think it's, it's done like if you look at I hate to compare it because but for a long time the Flash was the, the CW's golden boy but now they have the actual DC golden boy on the show on the uh, network and if you compare Oh, I hate doing it, but if you look at the season where Barry's daughter showed up, Nora, and you look at how that story was told about the family and how this story is being told with the family, it's just like completely different. We're still getting that HBO Max budget, still looking like a movie. Oh, God, I got so excited when I saw um, Superman holding up that bridge with one hand, one arm. It's just, they're really showing his strength. And in, in comparison, even with Supergirl, when you watch it, it's just like, it's just, oh, because that's what cars should be doing. And cars, I feel like it's always struggling to do something. But I think they're doing him really great. They're doing, giving Superman his flowers on the show and doing him justice, the character justice. And Clark too, Tyler is doing an amazing job as Goofy Clark. We got a lot of Goofy Clark this episode. Dad Clark being embarrassing and I absolutely love it. We got a lot of Lois Lane doing a lot of Lois Lane, Lois Lane things, Journ uh, investigative journalism, and one of my favorite scenes, I was talking about on Twitter with my mutuals, with my moots, um, when she clicked that Superman panic bucket button, it took him like two seconds to get there, and he bust through that wall, he fought that guy, we don't know who he is, but he did, that's the actor, he played Colossus in the X-Men movies, he's always playing a strong guy now, I noticed in these comic book uh, movies, I've actually seen him at a Comic Con, so that's pretty cool um and that whole scene was really great and then when he 
Superman got knocked out, which I know probably upset some people. He got right back up when Lois was like, Superman, get your ass up. And he got up and he did handle his business. We also, at the end of the episode, saw um, Morgan Edge's assistant have laser eyes. Now, who the hell is she? Is she another Kryptonian? That's the one thing, though, about Superman stories that kind of drives me nuts. If he is supposed to be the last son of Krypton, let him be the last son of Krypton. Let him and Kara be the last surviving people of Krypton, please. <laughs> that was the whole thing. That's the whole, their, like, whole spiel. They are the last two survivors of, the, of this um, destroyed planet. But they're really not because, crypto, as we all know, Kryptonians show up all the time. Um, that was really cool. We want this mystery. There's like actual mystery that you want to, you're like, whoa, what, what the hell? Who was that? And you want to know what's going on. And you cannot wait to the next episode with the show. And it's giving me very much Flash season one vibes. Um, love it. Love it. I love it. Sorry. Sorry. It's my new favorite show. I know some people are feeling a little threatened that it's taking the number one spot, but it has the streaming. Everyone's trying to brag on the ratings, but if you look, the streaming boosted those ratings up. It's the number one most streamed show for the network ever, ever. It's doing its numbers. It's doing what it has to do. They put the money and the, the advertising behind it and it's working. And also because the show is really good. Um, but I, I absolutely geeked out, enjoyed the show. Um, I liked how they showed his um, Superman's super hearing, flew to China, did what he had to do. He goes around the world in a flash, <laughs> just like that. He's super fast. I would love to see him and, and Barry race on, on this show, and we get to see Barry in this CGI. That'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I can't think of nothing. I have no nitpicking. Uh, hopefully, they're wrapping up the, t the teenage stuff, even though they're not, but I feel like now we won't get this guy bullying him, but we're getting a little bit of tension between the brothers because, you know, he doesn't have any powers and now he's coming into his domain and taking football, but it all works. I'm here for it. Geeked out. What did you guys think of the episode? Let me know in the comments. As always, I cannot wait to discuss with you. Until next video, I'm out of here. Big girl geek out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.